Steve Weintraub Collider. That's who I was waiting for. I was like, where's Steve? I'm sure uh, he's on the way. <laughs> I uh, Sure, I'll pretend that's true and I'll say thank you. No, for sure. Because also, don't you usually wear nail varnish? I do actually. Not, not, yeah. today, not today, but yes, I, I, I take back what I just said. How are yeah. you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I can't complain. I'm glad I get to talk to you in the blue void. In the blue void of Zoom. Right. Let's start with the most important question right up front. How much did you pay to be in the Great British Bake Off? <laughs> Do you know what's amazing? One, you're the first person to ask. Thank you. It, the best thing about being on the Bake Off, one, it's one of my favorite shows, obviously love, for it, love it. But for every contestant that goes on, they donate money to charity. It's amazing. I had the best time, didn't do a great job, but didn't cry. So, you know. Was it a five pound note or a 20 pound note that you slipped the producers? <laughs> you know, honestly, I think I mentioned it so much. Like I'd really try and manifest things into existence. So like I kept talking about needing a job and like finally I have some jobs. And then I was talking about Great British Bake Off, got to do that. Kept talking about RuPaul, got to do that. It's great. Listen, I know that it must've been Awesome working with Tom. It was like family. I all the all the, the cliched comments I've heard. I really want to know what it was like working with uh, the dogs that played Mansion. The dog singular. Oh, it was just one dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. I, I mean, Manchi Manchi did all his own stunts except for the times that we were throwing a toy around that looked like Manchi, which was honestly so creepy. Uh, the thing about well trained dogs is they're sort of um, scary. It's like, like all of the things you associate with a dog, like having a pet, like having a, like, oh, you know, doggy. Not so much with Manchi. So he was great. He was really well behaved. But then when we were filming in Haven, there was a sheep dog who was great. So we actually got a nice variety of dogs to work with. Uh, you've done obviously a lot of stunts uh, through your career already. Uh, I did hear that the stuff in the river that you had to do was like, the, the water was extremely cold. Um, I heard it was a challenge. Am I wrong about this? Well, the thing is, nothing beats filming an outdoor uh, scene with waves crashing on you in November uh, with Adam Driver swinging a stick at you. So in comparison to that, it was really fine. And also it was a really hot summer. But being in churning water with David Yellow, who's the nicest man in the world, being absolutely terrifying as the preacher, that was genuinely scary, yeah. I guess you worked with Simon Crane, who did second unit on this. Yes. Um, and I'm curious, you've worked with obviously a number of different second unit directors. Is there, is there anything that is similar about a lot of those guys or girls? Or is it sort of, you know, what, what is Simon like, for example? Simon is an angel on earth. He literally fell asleep when he was in a plane and fell out of a plane. He used to double James Bond. He is the clumsiest man ever. He's so wonderful, but he's like known for being clumsy. He literally fell out of a plane for real, like a legit, I think he was going parachuting or something. And it was hilarious because the couple scenes he did, he was like tripping over tree roots and everything. I was like, how were you a stuntman? But he's amazing. He's so smart. He's so, I'm really excited for him to be directing, directing a film because he's just wonderful, really wonderful. Uh, uh, so actually being serious for one second about uh, what was it about the material? I, I heard you were a fan of the books. What was it about the, the, the books and the material that said, I really want to do this? I Well, I read the script and thought it was great. And obviously the script has gone through a lot of changes since, since then. And then read the books, which are obviously great. Um, I just thought it was a very interesting concept. It's obviously amazing because it's, although it's based on a book, it's an original concept in a big budget way, which is nice. Um, but I just thought I love what Patrick Ness does. And I thought, you know, the overarching thing of it being this action adventure, but actually with all of these, you know, intense themes underneath it, uh, it's that's what I think is beautiful about film, that it can be this one thing and it can be loads of other things. And the response it's provoking in people, it's so interesting how people are taking it. Um, so it's just great to be part of something that is like a conversation, like people really have a, a reaction to it. Because I'm almost out of time, I'm going to do a three-part last question. You like this? Uh, I'm really excited about Young Women in the Sea. Uh, also, Women in the Castle. And you might be working with Neil Berger on The Marsh King's Daughter. Uh, can, you, 
can you sort yeah can you talk about all three of those projects and what excites you about all three uh women in the castle is a very sad story but it's basically a sort of side of post-second world war that we haven't seen so much which is the reality that um a lot of german people were uh, sad that Hitler was gone because you know a lot of people's lives were fine like were fine under him so it's an interesting ex- exploration of that and Kristen Scott Thomas who is unbelievable and Nina Hoss who is unbelievable and Jane our incredible writer director so that's just really exciting uh Young Women of the Sea amazing she was such a trailblazer and a story that I didn't know things like basically they tried to get her to fail because if she won, it would be like this new time in women's sport and it would, the, the men's sport didn't want that. So what she did was amazing. And then the Marsh King's daughter, which is actually the first thing I'm doing with Neil is just a really exciting, beautiful script about human nature and yearning and upbringing and, I can't wait. Super excited. On that note, I got to go. Uh, great talking so with much. you as always. Good luck Thank with the rest you. of your speed dating. Thank you. Thank you.